Yu-Gi-Oh! Fan Series Discussion Chaos Charge Reboot. I had said offhandedly at some point that I was going to check this out at some point, so let's do it. It's a bit of a dookie day today that I might be covering. I don't know where my hand's going to be at the moment. Head's going to be at the moment. It is a little late for me to be covering this considering we now have two episodes of Chaos Charge, but it is nice to look back at this and be like, okay, what's right and what's wrong. I mean, granted, we're only two episodes in, so we don't know how much is going to be wrong, really, but you know. And remind Duki that this series exists too, but. <laughs> One thing that I will definitely never talk about, I just want to say, is drama. Thank I God. Drama. So, yeah, I'm Unfortunately, drama is a day, part of our everyday lives, but doesn't mean we have to bring attention to it. Unless it's absolutely necessary. If a new show is coming out, and that kind of stuff, I am in no way a professional or anything. This is all just on a fly. I just have, like, a list of topics that <laughs> Who I'm the frig is a professional Yu-Gi-Oh! fan-made series creator? What I personally think in my, what does that even mean to be a professional? So, uh, Do you get paid so for it, I guess? Today, we're going to be talking about the reboot of Yu-Gi-Oh! Chaos Charge made by Jace Hubbard. For those who don't know, Yu-Gi-Oh! Chaos Charge was a series started by Jace Hubbard. Yep. Back in, like, I think the first episode was either... First few episodes were in, like, 2017, maybe 18, maybe it was on the cusp of Around that January, a lot of things came like out around 2016. It's, it was an incredibly pivotal time in life. And it lasted life. all the way till 2019 until uh, Jace's channel went through a whole reboot, essentially. Because of Kappa. And, um, there was also a lot of Remember when we thought Kappa would be the worst thing happen in 2020? That was and, bad, um, but <laughs> we, so we wish that was the worst that happened. With there being about 27 episodes made with yeah, you gotta go special, off and buy reactions because that's the only uh, way Reverse to still episode, access them. Which was a crossover with James Sullivan's Yu-Gi-Oh! series Yu-Gi-Oh! Ragnarok. Which <laughs> was the Censored. Crossover. And, uh, oh, maybe that's because that's where my face is. That, that was Probably that one. Live action series, and now it's I was given a request Beyond to break down that thing, so I might at some point. Knows that he I don't was know. Already working on some Beyond style duels before. He has four episodes of that on. His I'm channel. in one of them. Uh, you can check those out on your own. I, I will probably leave it in the description if I remember. I might. I don't know. So there are a few topics that I want to talk about when it comes to the chaos chart. I really know what's in my head so now. Let alone later. Stuff that I'm gonna be talking about. So, the first topic that I'm going to be talking about is the intro. Now, we don't have the intro for Chaos Charge yet. Uh, well, we get it later, trailer. so... So, that makes me wonder what song is Jay's going to use, because... If I remember correctly, and I should because I watched Chaos Charge several times, it's one of my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh! shows to watch. Uh, it is very relaxing, very had, nice and like chill. The songs for the intros that uh, he had were first... Um, Everywhere I go, by on lap. Yep. Uh, another one was a uh, thing that even I'm using right now for Yu-Gi-Oh! Dragon Warriors, Savior of Song. Another so good I'm song. The English cover. He was. I'm yeah, he didn't use the English cover, but that was the easiest one to or find. Maybe that was another Japanese cover. I don't know. Uh, the third one he used was um, Skillet Monster, but it was the cover of the song. Yep. Uh, the fourth one, I believe, was a remix of the original Duel Monsters theme. I don't remember that. I that might have been like the last uh, episode no, or two. Fully. That one. I've been looking for right? it for a while, but I cannot. There are some themes the in Yu Gi Oh shows theme. that I'm just like, and where the fuck do you get that? Because that's an actually a great theme. The it's De Evolution remix. one, episode the six, that he we that see on freaking um uh, for Chaos the Traveler's final, the Wanderer's final by, turn. Uh, is one of those where it's like, However, where I'm is that music? Give it to me. I want that. Back in 2020, which was around the time when I started Dragon Warriors, funny enough. Uh, and in that one, the theme song for that series was called Armageddon. Uh, I forgot who, uh, who made that song. Trine, which later changed to Trine ATX. For the intro, or maybe it could be one of the older ones. Well, we gotta answer that I'm question. Although he could still change it over time, you know. One of the old ones. It's either going to be uh, Miracle or Everywhere I Go. 
I don't know, those and then it ended up being monster. The most with Jace. Like when I hear those songs, I immediately think, yes, Jace Hubbard. That's the first yeah. person I think about when I hear those songs. So that's why it's actually to be typecasted, but at least people can There's remember you for something, right? That Jace could be using a completely new song for the opening. Well, I could be wrong, of course. Uh, we'll have to wait and see, just like with everything else that I'm going to be talking about today, is just me theorizing and guessing and whatnot, and just discussing. But Only I'm time will tell that, that tale. Like, if he's going to be using one of the old ones, it's definitely going to be either Miracle or Everywhere I Go. Those are the ones that I like. When I hear them, I just think about Jace Hubbard the most when I hear those two specifically. So Again, he can still change it is, over time. I'm going to be talking about like, when we're Attack like of the Main Villain, 20 episodes Reggie in Rever. ish. I don't know. For those who don't know, Reggie Rever was the main villain of the original Chaos Charge, and he made an appearance in Immortal Bonds. And in both of those, he played a rocket deck mm -hmm. with Boral Loads, obviously. Nice little effect little here. Boral Dragons, not Boral Loads. <laughs> I did see this video in my own but time. I should have been not, like, off-screen and, like, say her again. Like, because whose name we don't know because she was not in the original series. Uh, is gonna be playing yeah, uh, seen some of this Boral stuff. Dragons. So that probably means that she is going to be playing Rockets. So that begs the question, what is Reggie Rever gonna be playing? Uh. Well, uh, James Sullivan did a breakdown on the um, remake, on the uh, reboot trailer, and uh, he theorized, and this was something that I was also thinking about while watching... Um, My breakdown. Like, what is Reggie's deck going to be? And he and I coincidentally just both thought, what if he was playing Chaos? Yeah, Dookie... Uh, in the intro, I, uh, I didn't, the like... That was shown was apparently, Dookie said, attack, like, the same time I did in my, you know, video thing, be like, Chaos. Nobody in the show, nobody in the show played Chaos Emperor Dragon. So, that begs the question, who does Chaos Emperor Dragon belong to? Watch it belong to some random schmuck. Be playing a Chaos deck. It would be in fitting because, you know, the series is called Chaos Charge and Reggie is the leader of the Chaos Knights who use Chaos Xyz monsters in order to, you know, fight. So, it is a very big possibility that Reggie could be playing a Chaos deck just to keep in theme. Hmm. Another way he could be keeping in theme is another deck that I was thinking about he could be playing is Sharks. I don't see this one, one personally. One of the about the original Chaos Charge is... We never found out who played number 101. We never found out who played. Simon yeah, Lone this is his argument as to in the original as to why they would play shark. I just don't see it with Reggie. Reggie. If he does end up playing shark, so be it. I, I'm okay with taking the L and all that jazz. It's just one of those where it's like I don't see it personally. But Jones is a book bets cover, of course. So I was thinking maybe, possibly, he could be playing a shark deck. Because Shark Deck also has several other Chaos Exe Lots monsters, of rank up like, magics. Uh, Vice, uh, uh, Shark Drake Vice mm. and uh, Abyss Splash. Super Splash. There's, probably some There's also apparently a guy about, in the movie the series reboot where he also played so like I was all of them. That. And also another reason why I'm thinking that is because that is a uh, deck that can easily bring out most of the over 100 numbers. Uh, as we've seen, for anybody who's watched the movie yeah. series, you know, in the Shadow Tournament. I don't know if you brought that up or not. Uh, you know, That's why I mentioned it. Played a shark deck with all of the over 100 it was freaking insane and so entertaining. That, so that's another and he's still lost, and if I remember correctly. I'm thinking about, and this is something that even James uh, thought of. Uh, in Yu-Gi-Oh! Immortal Bonds, there was another character that voice-wise and um, appearance-wise was very similar to Reggie. That character's name was never figured out. We Unknown. Never knew what, the, what the character's name was because um, Immortal Bonds was cancelled after its fifth episode. Uh, but he played Attic Misters with Fireball Dragon Dark Fluid. Now, so, the unknown character uh, isn't is around. It's confirmed that it's Reggie. But if he ends up playing Attic Misters, that'd be cool too. Like, in a, in a way, Unknown sticks way, around in a sense. That would be a very interesting deck for Reggie. Even though... Uh, I think that the, you know, the previous two options are definitely more fitting, you know, because they go in theme with the show. And I guess the, fair. Uh, premise is. I'm more a fan of Chaos, so personally, mostly because it was you know, my it idea, but, you know. A possibility, something to leave if he plays, like, Attic Ministers or, or Sharks, it's fine. Now watch another him play Math Max. Playing, though this one I'm a bit iffy on because of... Uh, how it is in the actual, how boring it is in the actual game. I hope it doesn't do it episode Neuron. two, otherwise I'm not be another in-theme deck. <sighs> I mean... But unfortunately, uh, Numeron is 
a very boring deck to watch play. Yeah, he could totally play Numeron, so, but I think I'd rather watch Paint Dry than watch Numeron be played. It's probably not the best option, but oh, who am I to say? Although I will say that there it is, is there is an entertaining flex to summon ten, hundred thousand so, deck thing point monster. That was a mystery in the original Chaos Charge because it was cancelled. We never found out what was Reggie's end goal. So throughout the series, the reason he was sending Chaos Knights was to like was to collect dual energy and to take down Jace because Jace was in the way. And so a very powerful dual in his own right. What was Reggie doing? Like what was he gonna be using all the dual energy for? Was he going to revive something like a god card or something? Maybe something? I don't know. The, the Egyptian god cards, the wicked god cards. To be something? honest, I don't, I don't even know. I don't think so Jace even do. <laughs> Why is it going to dual energy? Um you know, take, I'll think of it later. Shut up. Uh card that he needs all the dual energy for is well chaos exes barrier hmm obviously i mean obviously that is that would make sense that, try to you know, bring up this ultimate powerful form of the uh, chaos knights the premise of the show Besides. are chaos exes monsters including the over 100 numbers or the barrier numbers i can so, see it that could be magic brings out the anime version of barry and hope requires a lot of dual you know a good version of the card revived and then used which would also bring back the shark deck being played because that means that Reggie can play Barry and Hope in his shark. Like I don't know if Jay's gonna use like anime cards in the series. He could if he wanted to because it's in the original you know, Chaos Charge did. But if he's gonna be like, if that's the only anime card, it's a damn good one to pick. It locks you into lights and darks, so playing number one on one is you know kind of difficult. Mm. But still, it's a possibility. But yeah, so we went over the intro, Reggie Rever and his deck, and what his end goal could be. Now let's talk about another character, and this character was not even featured in the actual intro. A very important character in the original Chaos Charge. I'm talking about Dragon Archer. Oh, that's gonna be the dual Who guardian. Dragon Archer was, uh, I'm gonna give a bit of a background here. He was originally somebody that Jace went to Duel Academy with. For those who don't know, uh, in the original, Jace's Pendulum deck with the Dimension Dragons was actually the deck of Yuna Sakaki. Like, you, yes, Sakaki. Yuna Sakaki deck. And, um,. Well, Jace won it off of a trial by not. winning a trial. He was doing a dual puzzle in order to, um, you know, get it. Uh, brain. Alongside him was Dragon, who was the first one to try to win the dual puzzle, and then he failed. <laughs> that phrase. Then, <laughs> later in life, uh, in his first episode, I wouldn't be surprised if that's an emote. With Zark, Zark magicians, Bro. and the Supreme King versions of the Dimension Dragons. Well, Jace has them in Chaos Charge proper, so... Destroy itself, special summon Astrograph, and send eight extra... And I, and I theorize, he's like, off after I saw this, be like, maybe he's playing the Raid Sarks. But... The thing is, like, no, Jace is playing the Raid... Ray Eyes as well, so... Supreme King versions of the Dimension Dragons. Back then, he was under Master of Four, but because of the... Uh, Supreme King Rage, he could bring them out from the graveyard because he sent them there with the board. So mm. that, that was a very funny combo, but that was mostly what he did yeah. almost all of the time throughout the show, so it became kind of predictable. But yeah, right. Like, Countdown to the board. Three, two. <laughs> the thing is, though, now Jace is going to be having Zark in the reboot from the Master start World 5. The so that brings the question. Is Dragon Archer even gonna be a character in this series? And if he is, what is he gonna be doing? I think it's possible well, that he could be in this I series, but I don't know. Is what if he's playing new cards from the Age of Overlord? You know the Arai's, uh Supreme Arai's Rage, whatever her name is, the the, the Ray version of Zor I call them Ray Eyes. The, the light version of the. the Jason's are playing the these as well, but stuff. again, it's possible that Reggie could come back with them. Kind of stuff. Yeah. In order to I mean, people could play multiple copies of these decks, you know. You could still Imagine if he's just being like, dragons, "I'm you, but evil," uh, essentially. You know, you know Jace doesn't Dragon have to be an play evil those. clone. He could be just, you know. Uh, Drain could be the one running them. That'd be cool. It's not what happened, but it'd be cool. Them, though, uh, could be the manga versions of the dimension. That'd be cool too. You know, I'd be open to that one as well. Uh, and Thelion, uh, uh, Fast Dragon, and Starving Venomy. But those are not the Fusion Exe Synchro and Pendulum Dragons. Yeah. So 
I don't know they how can't well make that Zark. work, but uh, it is a possibility. You never know. True. That is a theory. Could go into God Eyes. Term. Or All but Eyes in And GCG. the last thing that I want to talk about is... Uh, I forgot his full name, but I believe that his name... I didn't fact check before recording this. I know, I, I, like I said, I'm Please not do, a professional. Did you have, like, set up an AI to make this, the thing but, uh, move automatically uh, or something? Or did you have to keep, have it move constantly? Uh, the champion full name Kaiser Bolt. I didn't know he had a last name. The Beyond Style Duel Series. So, in that series, that character is a champion. Uh, we don't know exactly of what, but he's like... The champion of champions. A champion, maybe he's on like a US champion, I don't know. Yeah, whatever. Something like that. He's and, a champion, uh, That's, well, we know he that. He plays Arm Dragon Thunder with uh, Cyber Darts. Mm -hmm. And he is in going to be a relevant character in the Chaos Charge reboot, judging by the uh, Intro. trailer. So that means that the uh, new Chaos Charge is going to be taking place in the the unstyle duel universe so that brings the question he is the champion and whatnot but what is going to be his role in the series another possible theory about him and this one comes from james as well as he mentioned it in the breakdown he could also be for all we know reggie rever in disguise maybe mm. that's maybe being kaiser and uh like a champion there is you know his public image would be possible yeah he's like wearing a mask or something is, uh, you know in the shadows hiding behind or maybe he's like mind control that, or that, something that would be it's believable it's unlikely especially how different they appear in the intro and different uh glasses also look different in the trailer mm. and also it appears that the reggie could be having a completely different hair but you know it could be a wig it could be a hair dye possibly yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah, other yeah. Than that, it's it, I, I wouldn't be a, completely unbelievable going to be in the series uh, there is another character in the series who is a champion type character, and that is Tobias Rifter. He's mm. the main, he was the main rival of Jace in the original. <gasps> Hoodie uh, gang up in uh, here! He was a Pedro Canauer clone, just like uh, several <laughs> other rivals. Uh, rivals in the Yu Gi Oh! fan series. It's a meme at this uh, point. And he is going to be a character in the reboot. If you're a rival in a Yu Gi Oh! show, you gotta wear a hoodie. Since if you're not, you're not doing it right. Like, if you're gonna be the bad guy, you gotta put on sunglasses. Unless you're Valator, but Valator has the possibility. Is it not gonna be the main this time? Or is Tobias a different kind of champion from Kaiser? And is Jace going to be taking, you know, Tobias' title once again? Is there going to be maybe some kind of tournament arc where they are trying to defeat Kaiser? Could be. It's it's a very it's a very interesting thing to talk about because Kaiser has no connection to the original Chaos Charge. There was nobody who played. Yeah, Cyber he's a brand Dark new character. Armed dragons or anything like that in the original Chaos Charge, especially not Armed Dragon Thunder because you know Chaos Charge is yeah it, than, uh, it didn't exist yet. You know, the only armed dragons, dragons we had were the originals before they were introduced. So. It's really interesting to talk about Kaiser as a character mm. because you just don't know what he could, uh, what his role could be. Another thing about Jace uh, in the original was that his parents kind of just abandoned him. Bye, son. They were afraid of his power as a duelist and the fact that um, you know he now has the. Jace needs an explanation as to why he's constantly in an empty what, what house. It, it's not the, the worst explanation in the world. Those. So that bring at least so they're not question, dead parents, with I the guess. Similar hair to Jace. What if uh, that is like his father or something? Imagine if Kaiser was like Jace's father. <laughs> this would be like some Giovanni or Oak is Ash's dad bullshit. But, uh, you know, <laughs> but that's still, that's still I, I, I wouldn't be against that. Possibility. You never know. The hair matches, and also they true. Like a dick focused on big dragons. True. It's, it's just a theory, a Yu-Gi-Oh theory, I know, but still, it's a it's something to consider. I could believe Another it. Another thing that to bring up uh, Kaiser is, uh, what is he? Is he a hero? Interesting is he theory. An anti hero is he just neutral? Is he a villain? Uh, I personally think that he's probably just going to be some kind of neutral character. I feel like Maybe. he's going to be the type of character that ha ha have his own like party essentially he has his like, own story there's like three he's the beat there's watch Jace and his friends there's reggie and the chaos knights and then there's kaiser and whatever and <laughs> if Dragon Archer gets watch. reintroduced into the series then um then that makes four parties technically unless uh, dragon is, par uh, is the on the same party as kaiser which is highly what if kaiser just there. replaces dragon Way like he's the replacement the case, for because dragon dragon is a very vengeful and egotistical motherfucker mm -hmm. while kaiser is very humble and very um you know down to earth but also very skilled and serious true but 
his inclusion also brings me to another point. If he's part of the series, that implies that Chaos Charge reboot is going to be taking place in the Vion style uh, dual universe that Jace already made. Mm. So that means I think that, that was the implication. That one kid from uh, episode three who played. True, the true. The I didn't Jedi. think of this when I actually did the uh, episode two of reaction the show was a birthday breakdown present thing. for James Sullivan, as it featured yeah. James dueling against uh, a cop. And so Dookie brought this up at James some point. I'm just like, exist in this universe. Yeah, <laughs> this is stuff so, I didn't think of really. I just thought of like, okay, it's the champion. I didn't think about that other of James once again. Just like in the original Chaos Charge, being part of the Chaos Knights. I should say so that Jace has Jace has not approached me in Reg any regard of this sort of stuff. James but you know, we're taking this one step at a time. James we'll see what happens. Situation because if he lost, he would have died, and Reggie was. And I'm anti-dying. Do as I say, or fucking die, loser. <laughs> Pretty so, much. The, so with uh, you know. Back into a corner. Reboot not really taking place in the same continuity as the original. Hey, you got your own James. Before, essentially, that brings the question of like, if James still, if that James still exists in this universe, you know, the one from the Beyond style duels, then how is he going to play a role in the series? Will he play a role if in the series? Probably not, series. but you know. Is he still going to be swayed in some way? Is he going to be put in a difficult situation Even where Even I don't he know. He will need Reggie's help again or will Reggie bribe him or lie to him in some way shape or form in order to make him duel against Jace? That is that is something that I kind of thought of on the spot because I remembered also, that kid who played the uh, the rock deck, I kind of forgot his name, but um, Jabari what, what could, could he be playing? I know I'm looking way too much into it because, uh, you know, we don't even see those guys in the trailer. Right? Yeah. Uh, it, th these are just mentions and whatnot, but uh, it is still, possible they could show up. Uh, Matt, odds are they do happen. Well, it just could be Jason background cameos or something some like kind that. Of adventure of some kind looking for reggie and the uh, chaos knights mm. well, is there going to be a chase after something or uh, that would be interesting if they came to, back like, i wouldn't put around. money on it like, maybe but they will you know we'll see what Egypt happens or something like that and they will need go to egypt we don't want to be jojo's part three reggie and the others it's just i'm just going nuts about this there are I'm a lot of possibilities it makes it overwhelming is going to be when i talk about this kind of stuff but still uh, <laughs> It's just something to think about because of like what what the trailer established there is a lot of things to discuss there is a, a lot, lot of that thinking I want to, to do they, there, there is a lot that <laughs> there, there is a lot of my terrible improv because you know i am not a professional as i said twice already before this <laughs> what's a professional in a fan series discussion but, uh, <clears throat> yeah that is all the discussions <clears throat> for today for um Yu-Gi-Oh! cash charge reboot all the little theories that I thought of, all the little what ifs and whatnot. Who knows? Maybe this feeds Jace with ideas for <laughs> you just the gave chaos me an charge idea. That he didn't an have awful, maybe I was awful just idea. Thinking about, <laughs> maybe I was just thinking about this. And it's possible he could Jace influence his, said, Jace's ideas. Maybe I can actually do something with it. <laughs> you never know. True. <laughs> All in all, I hope you guys enjoyed this little. Uh, me just Not much else. It could be filler episodes. I don't know. Almost thirty minutes. I don't know what watch the next be, episode is going watch to be. Watch any other random one-off character speeches jobbers, so we could just to show off how powerful the new guy, so, is, like a know, chaos knight, is or something. I'll, I'll see you around, everyone. It is interesting to check this out just to be like, what, what's, what do we know so far? What don't we know? Uh, again, I haven't seen episode two at this point, so, so even more of this could be outdated. But I figured I'd just check it out because why not? I said I was going to at some point uh, off screen, so you know I want to get to it. And mind you, get this series is just I don't know. Because we're gonna do stuff for like Card Heroes or something. Hmm. The Valley new show is coming out, and a lot of good stuff coming out lately. But yeah. Uh, hopefully this influenced, well, I shouldn't say hopefully it influenced Jace in some way, but if it did, that's good, and if not, well, that's fine, you know, we're just, we're spitballing because we're excited and we really enjoy the series, and that's what matters, so, yeah, good work, DK, I hope this series continues, and if not, well, it's not the end of the world, I mean, it wouldn't be Dookie Dark World without starting a new series, only to abandon it, <laughs> at least you're not rebooting it, <laughs> oh. fun stuff, good work, Dookie, looking forward to more stuff to come, later.